Hello, welcome to the Wahoo Warrior. Today we're going to be going over the Blitzkrieg German Army Starter Box. I've noticed online that Warlord Games has been having a discount sale on <clears throat> the Starter Army boxes. And they've also, what they've started to do is doing the Build Your Own Army a lot. And I have that's what I took advantage of with my French. But there's still these Starter Armies. And we're Alan and I are going to be playing a series of matches uh, in our kind of how to play tutorial section where we go over each of the army boxes that we have and kind of show what you can do with with it with it right when it comes out of the box and then we're also going to be uh, talking about some of the things we can do to change the list with what they give you so this is the german blitzkrieg starter army box set and one of the nice things if you're new to bolt action it's really fun to get one of these box sets uh, one that reminds you of a lot like when you were a kid and you've got the uh, the neat little army men models uh, with a nice little painted picture of a squad on the side much better painted than mine and then uh, and then uh, it also has some uh, more sets that are available for sale uh, just uh, some of the infantries and things like that, different nationalities, it's really neat. And then it has on the side uh, what's included in this box. <clears throat> and this box is 1,000 points of German army troops. Now, as you look at the, you know, and it says right there, army list can be easily configured to suit your playing style when you're ready to expand your force, etc., etc. Uh, when you're looking at the 1,000 point German Blitzkrieg starter list uh, Warlord with this kit was a little bit liberal with their points allocation in that they gave you a veteran squad and they made the tank veteran and that's pretty much it uh, veteran lieutenant and whatnot so uh, what you really what you are getting here is basically a uh, I think 36 infantrymen and you can make the first lieutenant out of that set and it, and he, they have extra two guys on here and then uh, you can make the sniper team out of the set and then uh, all the other stuff that basically so you got 30 30 guys two men for a sniper team and then uh, three guys for the lieutenants team so that's what you have for infantry uh, I will tell you in, in some of the other box sets that you get a little more infantry, like the, the German here infantry set, so you can make a little extra stuff. But you do get a mortar team, and the mortar teams are made out of metal, and uh, you get a, you get the nice tank, you get the half track, and that's really the kick with the Blitzkrieg. Is when I was first looking at uh, the German list, I want to know, you know, it's like half tracks. Ooh, you know, they're so iconic in the in the German army that uh, you know I want a half track I want my troops to get to where they want to go and then I started once I got, I got a couple half tracks I, I never used them because the points were really difficult I've come back more in favor of using some transports and half tracks uh, trying to accomplish some of the scenario goals without some form of transportation at least just for an extra turn can be a little bit difficult uh, it does protect your troops. Uh, you'll still take pins, but uh, you just you just can't you just can't drive them down the throat of the enemy, which that's not what half trucks are made for. But anywho, so I'm gonna take a look here, and I've got my thousand point army here, and got them painted up. Uh, I got a, you know the half track there. I've got a ten man regular squad. I've got the mortar team back there. I've got a veteran squad, and I've painted my stuff a little bit different to reflect veterans and regulars, just for my ease of uh, for my opponent. There's nothing that says you have to do that at all. Uh, it's just something because I have some extra. I had some extra guys because I do have both German starter sets, and then there's my Panzer IV tank at veteran. Uh, that sucks up a few more points. Uh, being veteran, but it is it, it is a powerful tool to have a veteran tank. I would I normally take my tanks at regular. 
Uh, I do like the Panzer IV. Uh, this is an early version Panzer IV. Uh, it has a light howitzer for its main gun, has a coaxial medium machine gun, and a hull mount medium machine gun. And one of the nice things about this tank is if you buy it in uh, version A, it's a Panzer IV. This is a Panzer IV. Uh, it can be used as a B, C, D, E, or F. All the early war Panzer IV tanks are all pretty much the same. Except the, the A version has lighter armor. It's a lot cheaper. And same armament. But normally this tank has a 9 armor. Which is actually very powerful. Especially in a lot of early war games. If you're playing in an early war theater. Uh, there's not a whole lot that can actually hurt this thing. Uh, at, at the in the front armor and when you do get hit it doesn't uh, usually knock you out uh, and then I have another regular squad there's a lieutenant that I made back there there should be one more guy with him and then there's uh, a sniper team up on the roof that I made with just the regular guys uh, so it gives you a pretty balanced list uh, it gives you uh, three infantry squads of ten men each each squad has a light machine gun in it. When you're building your army on the sprues, you'll have some extra equipment. You you would be able to put uh, additional light or additional uh, submachine guns in there. If you're playing early war, you won't have a whole lot of option for extra submachine guns. I think you could put one on each extra guy. And uh, but if you watch my other video. Uh, building an army, you know, I'm prone to taking some machine guns, uh, especially with the half track. Uh, I like that ability, but you don't necessarily have to, to do that. Uh, the half track is, can be utilized also just to, you know, get your troops to where you need them to go. So, this is a standard 1000 point army list. Uh, I could take this 1000 point list and do pretty well with it, I think, uh, just about. In just about any situation I could also if I wanted to play this list at 750 points I would just have to because uh, that's a very common point value you can start to shave some of the stuff off the list and get it into 750 the first one would be the the tank I'd make it either regular or I'd make it the version A uh, the version A is 135 points a veteran version B is 210 so you know right there I can save what 85 points and then uh, you, know, you can uh, take uh, the extra guy off your lieutenant pack you could downgrade that veteran squad to a regular and pretty quickly maybe shave a couple guys off uh, and then you have a 750 point army right there as well uh, and still have the same uh, situation where you have all the order dice and this this particular is nine order dice I've got the medium mortar, so I have some indirect. I've got a light machine gun in each squad, so I've got some firepower. I've got eight, uh, eight guys with rifles, a light machine gun, and an NCO with a submachine gun. <clears throat> Veterans are killing them on five, so yeah, you got a pretty good list right here. Uh, all their starter sets, I think, are pretty well rounded. The only thing missing out of this set really is anti tank capability. You don't have much. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so the first thing that I added when I when I got this list was a was a pack uh, thirty six to stay with the early war theme. It's one of the things I ordered from Warlord, and it's basically an anti tank gun, which is a small little anti tank gun, light anti tank gun plus four. Uh, I find I find that if you're playing early war, the plus plus four is pretty darn good like I said that Panzer 4 is a beast in most of your early war games because nobody has 9 armor uh, most of the armor uh, is 8 or 7 the British tanks are usually a 7 or 8 and they have handicaps if they're 8 the French have a couple thicker skinned tanks but anyway so that's the Blitzkrieg starter set thanks for watching I'll go over the here one here in a little bit